What's going on, Winter Club? How you doing? So, I've got a very special mod for you today. And unfortunately, I recorded the second part of this video yesterday, but this first part didn't show up. So, I'm having to do this on separate days. But anyways, it is a 1972 Minneapolis Moline. Horsepower is 142. Maximum speed is 34 and I believe that is kilometers an hour I could be wrong but I've got my game set to miles per hour and it only does 20 and then total price for just the tractor that's without the door wheels and that's without the front loader piece um, is $11,600 and then daily upkeep is twenty dollars a day and that's pretty cheap for a um, 142 horsepower tractor and then of course the brand is obviously Minneapolis Moline and then the category is under tractors and unfortunately the author only uploaded one picture with this tractor so this is the only picture we have to go on so I can't show you all any pictures but let's get into the game itself and take a look at this tractor. Um, by the way, guys, I'm still having audio issues with the game. So if any of you know how to get the audio working for Bandai Cam, please let me know. And I will greatly appreciate it. Y'all will hear me mention that in the second part as well. What's going on there with the club? How you doing? So I've got the Minneapolis Marine here and I figure we take it out a little bit of a drive. So probably just down the street and around the block here. And then I'll show you uh, the store and everything. Yeah, I can see it's got a real nice black smoke um plume to it was it me? yeah it was down the way my note was but as you guys can see i actually got it doing 20 mile air in the actual download page that you all just seen so it was do 36 so yeah somebody is lying somewhere. Um, I tell you, I'm just gonna make you turn right here. And then we'll go back, hook up a machine to it, and see if the lights are doing anything. I know it says do not enter here, but I don't give a flying you know what. It says there ain't no law in this game anyways. Now it is a hundred and uh, forty two horsepower. Let me show you all the purchase page here. Let me show you the tractor. So Minneapolis Marine uh, standard will run you uh, $11,600. But the way I've got mine specced out. Let's see, I put the front loader attachment on it. And I'm pretty sure I got double joint. So that'll raise the price up to $13,400. And like I said um, in the last video on my last mod review that I did, um, if you all are not running the manual gearbox add-on, you all would not have that third option. But uh, if you are and you're interested in it, you can find that in the mod hub. 
just go do an album farming simulator. Uh, dot, uh, what is it? Farming simulator dot com. Or if you get the game, you could just click your mods. And then I'm pretty sure it's either under other or beta. I'm pretty sure it's under beta though. And if you don't know how to download from the mod hub, go check out a video I did about three months ago saying how to download mods from the mod hub. That title is actually titled Back to Farming. So yes, if y'all are interested in that, go check that out. So let's get a piece of equipment here. Enough of me jacking around here. Uh, let's see, what do I need? Uh, I think I'll get me a, um, a wagon. Green wagon. And I'll lease it. I'm going to lease Let's go see if this thing will hook up. That is a big oh, uh, Argo wagon, ain't it? Although this is a big tractor. It's got the uh, saddle tanks, I believe it's called. Let me get egg up here and we'll check out the lights and everything. So, looks like the uh, PTO and everything's hooked up right. And yes, guys, I have not got my audio issue figured out yet. But if you all know how to get my audio set up using band I can, please let me know because I do not know what I'm doing. So yeah, it looks like that PTO in the hiccup is actually in the right spot. So I didn't even check to see if there was a horn, which I know you all can't hear, but Yes, it sounds like a little car horn, but there's a horn. Let me hit my home button and see if there is a, uh, hang on, no, I think I changed that. Well, I thought there would be a, um, emergency flasher on this thing. Well, not emergency flashers, but bacon. Speaking of about emergency flashers, it's oh, it's probably because I'm on the wrong end of my ear, acting like a noob. There's the left. There's the uh, four four ways going. Let's see how it pulls this big old loading wagon. The, the exhaust effects are pretty good with this tractor. And yes, I'm leaving the four ways on because we're going out on public highway. It binds up a little bit there when you get full lock, but anyways, it works pretty good. Point at it. Can we get 20 of it? Come on. 
Can we get 20 out of it? There's 20 mile air. She's running that 2210 on the RPM. And it's running 90% on the engine capacity or motor capacity. And it's doing uh, 22 gallons an hour. So that's not that bad. And again, you guys will not have that info there on the, the uh, right hand part of your screen there. Unless you're running the manual gearbox. And I can tell you that the deflux do work in this tractor. I'm not going to kill them on because we're going down the road. But yes. Um, I'm pretty sure the hired worker does work with this mod. I haven't tested it out yet, but yes, it seems like a fantastic mod, and I would uh, greatly suggest it to anybody who is wanting to run like a classic old iron tap map. Let me turn in this corner here and then we'll check the uh, parking brake. Turn down that show what I meant. See if the parking brake works. Parking brake works. And then look guys. You guys can see both of my hands. The tractor is moving by itself. And yes, it's meant to do that because of the uh, gearbox add-on mod. Now that we stopped here, y'all can see. Sorry, the other video cut out on me. I was paying attention, but y'all can see I've got my front set of diffox on and my back, and. My all wheel drive. My all wheel drive. So, anyways, guys, this has been uh, again a mod review on the Minneapolis Moline um, 1972 model. And we will see you all in the next one. I'm out. Keep it safe on the farm. Keep it safe on the farm.